In this video, I'd like to talk about working with multiple projects in Query Tracker. So what is a project? A project is any book you're working on. For every book you're querying, you create a separate project for it. This allows you to track queries separately for each project. But a project can also be a different version of the same book. Let's say you queried for a book but were unsuccessful finding an agent. So you went back, rewrote the book, or made major revisions and now you're ready to query it again. Instead of erasing all of the old query information for the first version of the book, you create a new project for the new version. And now if you need to, you can go back and look at how individual agents may have responded to the first version compared to the new version. So we'll start out by looking at some projects in action. So we'll go to the Agents search page and go to this box over here labeled Active Project. Since only premium members can have more than one project, you'll only see this active project selector if you're a premium member. So what does that mean, active project? Well, if you have more than one project, Query Tracker needs to know which project you're currently working with, since you actually have a separate query list for each project. So you use this selection here to tell Query Tracker which project you're currently working with. So if I, for example, add this agent to my query list, he's been added to my query list for the active project, which in this case is called Untitled. The same goes for changing the status of a query. If I change the status of this query and say that it was sent via snail mail, it's actually being changed just in my query list for Untitled. So now if I come up here and I change my active project to my other project, which in this case is called the day the doorbell rang, you'll see that this agent no longer shows being in the query list. That's because he was added to the query list for untitled, and he's not in my query list for the day the doorbell rang. Now let's take a look at an agent's profile page. Just like on the search page, we have the active project selector. And if I were to add this agent to my query list using this checkbox, again, he's added to the query list for the active project. On the Agent Profile page, if you scroll down a little, you'll also find a tab called Other Projects. This shows you the query status of this agent for all of your other projects. So you can see here my project Untitled shows that I've already sent a query to this agent via regular mail. This is real handy because if you are querying multiple projects, you don't want to query the same agent for more than one project at the same time. Now let's look at how you modify and add projects. You go up to the Active Project Selector and then go to Manage Projects. This takes you to a list of all of your current projects. Now first off, this one doesn't have a title, so we want to give it a name. I just click on it and change the name. And the genre for that is, of course, Fantasy and the word count, oh, about 100,000 words. Now putting in your genre and word count is optional, but it really helps with the statistics for an agent, so please add it if you can. And now that's changed. And if I want to add a new project, I just click the Create a New Project button, and like before, enter in a title, a genre, and a word count. And now, if I go back to an agent's page, I see that my active project is the one I just created, and I can add this agent to my query list for the end of the beginning by checking the box. But I can also scroll down to the Other Projects section, and if I wanted to add this agent to the query list for these projects, I can just check these boxes without having to change the active project. And that's about all there is to working with multiple projects. So remember, you can have a project for each book you're querying, as well as a project for different versions of the same book. 